25 after wedding brunch ideas you and your guests will love interested in hosting a brunch the day after your wedding but don't know where to start? Then these fun after wedding brunch ideas are for you. In this post, we cover ideas for food, decor, attire, invitations, venues, and more. We also answer frequently asked questions about after wedding brunches to have you well on your way to planning an unforgettable post wedding celebration. First things first, how do you know if a post wedding brunch is something you should have? Even though it's an extra event to plan and, usually, pay for, it's a great opportunity to connect with close friends and family in a relaxed atmosphere. One of the main benefits is that it's a nice transition between the overwhelming excitement of your wedding day and the rest of the week as you slowly ramp down the celebrations. It's also a great way to give special thanks to anyone who went above and beyond for your wedding. At your after-wedding brunch, you'll enjoy great food, swap stories you might have missed from the wedding, and much more. Plus, out-of-towners will really appreciate the extra one-on-one -on -one time they get with you and other loved ones before they leave. What is an after-wedding brunch? It's an optional wedding event that takes place on the morning or early afternoon of the day after your wedding ceremony and reception. It typically involves eating delicious food with your VIP wedding guests. It's also customary to invite parents, guardians and wedding party members plus select others. The idea is for the event to be intimate, fun, and laid back. Explore 25 after wedding brunch ideas to add to your inspiration board. Post-wedding brunches are great for couples who want to spend some more quality time with loved ones and keep the party going a little longer after the wedding is over. Not only are they fun, but they're also relatively easy to pull off anywhere and on virtually any budget. Use the following list to learn how to plan a beautiful and stress-free brunch the day after your wedding. After wedding brunch ideas for food and menu items wondering what to serve at a post-wedding brunch? You have two options, a full-on meal or light bites. For a full-on meal, variety is often appreciated but also not necessary if your party is small. For light bites, you can make it more upscale or informal depending on the quality and presentation of your offerings. The good news is there are plenty of options available regardless of your budget, criteria, or the amount of energy you're willing to invest. 1. Perhaps our favorite of all the after-wedding brunch ideas on this list. Display a colorful donut wall or table-sized board next to a decadent coffee stand to give guests a joyful treat as they recover from the night before. 2. DIY your own coffee and tea bar with a Keurig, a selection of high-quality K-cups, some milk and creamer carafes, sugars, and takeaway cups with your initials hand-stamped on the side. 3. Make your brunch more wedding why by serving a tall and wide stack of pancakes or waffles made to look like a wedding cake with syrup, fresh floral decor, and plenty of whipped cream. 4. Sprinkle in some snacks guests can take on the go if they're in a hurry to catch a flight out the next day. Think wrapped biscottis, protein granola bars, croissants, and bagels. 5. Host a mimosa bar with orange, grapefruit, and mango juices alongside fresh fruit garnishes like strawberries and blueberries. 6. For full meals, consider serving candied bacon on a stick, an omelet bar with organic vegetables, a carb-focused side such as dime pancakes or rosemary potatoes, and oatmeal. If you're working with a restaurant or venue with catering, try to include sandwich and salad options, too. After wedding brunch ideas for decor and creating the right vibe decor for your post-wedding brunch should be minimal enough that it's easy to pack up when you're finished but stylish enough that your event still feels wedding-like. Table decor, balloons, and centerpieces are staples for this event type. For all other decor elements, consider what you and your guests will feel up to after your big day. For example, a photo backdrop might be a little too much if everyone is tired, but a boho lounge area with plenty of floor cushions to chill on might be just right. 7. Top mimosa glasses with pink and blue sprinkled donuts then place a candy-striped straw in the middle. 8. Spruce up a buffet table with fresh florals and color-coordinating serving props. Or, opt for a grazing table style instead by creating a variety of dish heights, adding in some edible yet decorative fillers such as grapes, and creating a more organic food flow. 9. Use a large chalkboard sign to designate the party area or use mini versions as serving dish markers. 10. Display foods in cocktail classes and tiered trays for a more upscale look as opposed to using plain serving platters on one flat surface. 11. 
Claim your portion of the restaurant or venue with matching ring or initial balloons, a fresh bouquet, and temporary wall hangings that match your wedding theme, as long as it's allowed. For example, macrame hangers on temporary hooks with potted succulents inside are great for a boho-style celebration. Ideas for post-wedding brunch attire planning your own outfit ahead of time will save you the stress of figuring it out on the fly. It will also help your guests gauge what is appropriate for the occasion. While most after-wedding brunches are casual, make sure you define what is too casual for your venue or vibe. Mention your dress code or what you plan to wear within your brunch invitation so that everyone knows what to expect. 12. Tea-length dresses and Sunday suits with florals or other colorful patterns are welcome at semi-formal post-wedding brunches. 13. Stick to classy yet understated garments, such as jumpsuits and dresses, that directly match your wedding colors for a put-together look. 14. Outfit details that bring a sense of relaxed luxury are a great after-wedding brunch idea. Think neon pink velvet block heels, pearl headbands, and quilted clutches. 15. Boat shoes, colorful pants, and button-downs will fit in well at an after-wedding brunch. 16. Make any outfit more casual and fitting for an informal event by adding a jean jacket, ankle boots, or open-toe sandals. After wedding brunch invitation ideas Invitations for your brunch should include time, date, place, and what will be served, i.e. full breakfast bar, coffee and donuts, etc., so guests can plan accordingly. While word of mouth is most common for informal wedding-related event RSVPs, gathering a headcount is always a good idea, especially if you plan to use a restaurant or event venue. For the design, make sure it aligns with the rest of your wedding theme or color palette while also fitting the tone you're going for. 17. Preview what's to come with illustrations of pretty mimosa glasses or waffles for invitation artwork. 18. Many couples use the phrase, rise and shine, on their brunch invitations along with the date, time, location, and RSVP instructions. 19. Go virtual with any one of these floral brunch invitation designs from Greetings Island. 20. If your brunch is super casual, make your invitation super casual too by using a text message invitation app that lets guests RSVP from their phones and sends automatic reminders. Venue ideas for your after-wedding brunch For an after-wedding brunch, the best venue is one that's convenient. Seek out venues that are low-key and relaxing. Ideally, it will be outdoors or in a setting where you have a little room to breathe after being surrounded by people the entire day before. Choose from any of the venues on this list or use these examples as a starting point when you search for venues near you on Wedding Spot.